Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. And I got another product from the Top Don to review. It's called RT Battery 101 and it's basically battery tester, but it will also test your cranking, that means how your starting system works and it will also test your charging system that means it will tell you if your alternator is charging correctly of course i will leave the link to this product underneath this video so you can do your own research i never opened this before i have no idea what is inside so let's see if there is any manual how to use it or how does this work oh yeah 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 if you look with me all these tests are nicely described in this brochure that's really really great and really important i love it also here you can see that brand new tester right it still has that protective foil on the display you can see the buttons here will be some, uh, what is it, mini USB or something connector. I'm pretty sure you don't need any batteries inside because obviously it power itself. It will power itself from the source which you are testing, right? So let's go and see how it works. And let's go ahead and start with the so-called out of the vehicle battery test. This is older battery which I collected from some car and I don't think it's charged right now. Last time I charged it, it's probably a couple of months. So let's see, this is the plus, obviously the red, right? So let's see what will happen when I will hook it correctly to the battery. And you can see with me and I'm also very, very curious what will happen with it. It says it has 12.2 volts, so obviously it should be charged. I will try and push the OK. OK, that will be the English language. Out of vehicle, yes. Uh, select charge before charge. Regular flooded. Select input. Set rating. Oh yeah, now I have to see what is the rating, right? Cold cranks are 730. So I should go up and enter the correct number. Okay, and it's testing. And what it says. And it reads on the top, SOH, it's the state of health, which is 54%. SOC, it's state of charge, which is 31%. It says it has 12.18 volts for 50 amps. And it recommends that the battery should be replaced. So I will go ahead and push OK. And it basically stays in the same position. And this tester is probably correct because the batteries in general last five years, right? Somewhere around there. And if you look on the sticker when it was made, it's a 0413. So it's basically almost five years old and it wasn't uh, maintained by the vehicle charging system. And that was out of a vehicle test. I have right here 2012 Toyota Tundra. So let's go to see in vehicle battery test. This battery has a sticker here that it was made in 08-2016, right? So this is way newer. I drove this vehicle here today, so it should be fully charged. So let's see together what will be uh, the results of this testing. So right from beginning I can see it has 12.4 volts. We'll put OK. Out of vehicle now. I want to have in vehicle. 
select charge before charge regular again the CCAs and this one has how many 710 CCA all right I will OK it and it's testing right now so let's see what this test will tell us state of health 84 percent state of charge only 68 percent that's that's pretty interesting it was sitting here for hours so it says 12.4 volts it has 680 amps and the tester says that this battery is good and doesn't need to be replaced and that again makes sense right it's barely two years old it doesn't give any problems so I will expect exactly this answer from this tester now what you didn't see I pushed the OK and the display says cranking test start the engine so I will go jump in the truck and start it up and we will see testing right now. And it says cranking was normal, so I guess I will go again and push that OK. It's asking charging test, so I will say OK. And let's see what it will do. Increased reps, so I will have to go in the truck. Oh, I didn't manage, it's already testing. Charging normal, loaded 13.78 volts, no loaded 13.94 volts, ripple normal. I pushed OK, nothing happened, again OK. So I guess we are done with this test. And I just look in the manual and when I was supposed to increase the RAF, somebody, if somebody was in the cabin, was supposed to step on the throttle and increase it to 2500 RPM. But uh, even without that happening, it perfectly uh, show us that entire charging system is healthy and there's no problem with it at all. And as I said uh, before, I was uh, basically reading the steps from this little quick start guide or manual which is supplied with the tester. And what I think about it, I personally love it. It's a very small package and it gives accurate results. We have no doubt that this battery is okay and the charging and starter is working correctly. It totally confirms that this battery is at the end of its lifetime and if it was in the car it should be replaced soon. And I'm really happy that the people from the Top Don send it to me to review it because it will be really a good part of my diagnostic tools which I have in my toolboxes. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it thumb up absolutely make sure you are subscribed because I have way more videos and Toyota maintenance coming your way very soon thank you for watching today and have a wonderful day